Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how you can play hundreds of different songs using only four chords. If you haven't watched my previous videos on the major scale and on major chords and minor chords, then please check them out. I'm going to be building on the information in those videos today. So let's get started. In the key of C major, the notes of the scale are as follows. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. These are diatonic notes in the key of C major, meaning notes that belong to that key. The diatonic notes in this key are all on the white notes on the piano. So F sharp or C sharp, for example, are not diatonic notes in the key of C major. We'll also number these notes from one to eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's find each of the diatonic triads in this key. Bear in mind that none of the chords contain notes not existing within the scale of C major, so all of our chords will be on the white keys only. Let's go through these chords one at a time, counting the numbers as we go up. Chord 1, C major. Chord 2, D minor. Chord 3, E minor. Chord 4, F major. Chord 5, G major. Chord 6, A minor. Chord 7, B diminished. Chord 8, C major. Chords 1, 4 and 5 are all major. Chords 2, 3 and 6 are all minor. And chord 7 is the odd one out because it's diminished. Don't worry too much about diminished chords at the moment, we'll look at those in a future video. Let's play all of those chords again a little bit faster this time. Now we're going to pick out the four chords that we'll be needing for our progression. These chords are 1, 4, 5, and 6. In the key of C major, those chords are C major, F major, G major, and A minor. So that's three major chords and one minor chord. We're going to try a few different chord progressions now using just those four chords. The first chord progression we're going to try is 1, 5, 6, 4. 1, 5, 6, 4. So that's C major, G major, A minor, and F major. Try playing each chord once slowly like this. Now let's try doubling those chords. Now let's add the bass notes C, G, A and F in the left hand. So now I'm going to put hands together and play the whole pattern twice. This chord progression may sound very familiar to you. That's because it's used in literally hundreds of different songs. For example, Photograph by Ed Sheeran. Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur, Fight Song by Rachel Platten, and 
Someone You Loved by Lewis Capaldi. Now let's try a different progression using those same four chords. We'll keep the first and third chords the same, but we're going to swap the other two around. So we're now going to try the progression one, four, six, five. So now let's double those chords. Now add the bass notes. This sequence is used in the song Shotgun by George Ezra. Skyscraper by Demi Lovato. Now let's try the progression one, six, four, five. Okay, so don't forget to change your bass notes as well, so the left hand will be like this. So now let's put hands together on that. This chord progression is used in the song This Is Me from The Greatest Showman, Dance With Me Tonight by Ollie Murs, and Stand By Me by Benny King. This chord sequence came to prominence in pop music in the 1950s and is slightly different from the other chord progressions in that often it starts and ends on chord one. So, more often than not, this sequence is actually one, six, four, five, one. Therefore, when you're playing this sequence in a loop, make sure you play chord one for the correct number of bars. Not all chord progressions have to start on chord one. Now we're going to try some progressions that start on a different chord. We're now going to try the progression six, four, one, five. So this chord progression starts on the minor chord. So let's try that hands together. This chord progression is used in the songs Hello by Adele, Africa by Toto, Apologise by One Republic and Faded by Alan Walker. Now let's try a progression starting on a different chord, chord 4. So the pattern here is 4-1 five and six. Let's try it hands together. <laughs> the 
This chord progression might sound familiar from songs like Bad Blood by Taylor Swift, Sweet But Psycho by Ava Max, Break Even by The Script, and Power by Little Mix. Finally, another chord progression starting on chord four. Let's try four, one, six, and then five. This progression is used in the song Pompeii by Bastille and High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. One thing to bear in mind at this point is that not all songs are in the key of C major, but using your knowledge of the major scales in all 12 keys, you can build the triads that you need. Let's take the key of D major for example. Using the correct pattern of tones and semitones to form the scale, the notes are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. So the chords based on those notes are D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, C sharp diminished, and D major. Notice how none of these chords contain notes that don't exist within the scale of D major. Now let's find chords 1, 4, 5 and 6 in that key. D major, G major, A major, and B minor. See if you can find the chords in a few different key signatures. There are many different chord progressions that can be made using chords other than just these four. Many songs change key or even break out of the standard diatonic chords. However, these four chords are a great place to start. You can try all of these sequences in the key of C major and then you don't have to worry about any flats or sharps. See how many songs you can find using these chord progressions or maybe even try writing your own song. You could try a different chord progression in the verse and the chorus or like many of the examples we've looked at here, you could try keeping the chords the same all the way through and vary the melody from section to section. Experiment and see what you like best. I hope you have fun with this and I'll see you in the next video. Keep playing!